Hi, in this video, you will learn how to edit percentage completion charts in our graph templates. First, let us understand what exactly is the role played by these different types of chart templates. These chart templates are no more than simple pie charts or donut charts that are created to make the slides look a little more attractive than the usual pie charts or donut charts. Second, the way you edit these charts is pretty much the way that you would edit any pie or a donut chart. For example, let us go to this specific chart. As you can see here, this chart shows percentage of project completion as a clock dial. Now, as you can see here, there is a beautiful background given to this pie chart and there is a dial kind of a feel that is given here. And this is after all nothing but a simple pie chart. I'm going to right click, go to edit data and instead of the completed percentage as 35, let us say I'm going to say this as 50 and you can see that there is a change in the way the chart looks. So you have completed one as 50% and the remaining one as 50%. Now let us go forward. This one shows your percentage as part of the world market and also as part of your local country market. Now these we have taken from the net and you need to come up with the map for your specific country here. So that is something that you need to do. All that this chart does is to help you present your numbers in a more elegant way here. Let us say you have 12% of the market share in US. Let us change this to say 15%. So I'm going to click on that specific chart, right click, go to edit data. Now, instead of that as 12%, if I want to have that as 18%, I can do that and you can see that there is a change in the way the chart is shown. And the same is the case for this one as well. Let us go forward. These are some more donut charts that show percentage completed using block dials. And you can see that if I want to make any change here, I just need to select that specific chart, go to edit data, and I need to change the number here. So instead of done as 79, if I want to call this as 45, I can do that. And you can see that 45 percentage is shown here and the remaining is reflected here. Here in this case, you may have to manually put it in the middle. So those are some of the small little adjustments you need to make here. And that is because we created these charts more for the look and feel rather than anything else. So you may have to bear with some small little inconveniences like this, where you may have to move certain data labels from somewhere to the center. Now that is the case with our first template in this series as well. As you can see here, this chart is more of a fancy representation of either percentage completion or our percentage market share in a four player market. Let me show you what I mean by this. When I right click here, you can see that there are four different segments in this pie chart. We have colored these as transparent and we have added a texture to this specific component. So if I want to change the value for this one, I just need to right click, go to edit. And instead of the value of my brand as say 8.2, if I want to change that to say seven, you can see that the percentage is changed to 55% instead of 58% uh, because the value of my brand is changed compared to the total component in the market. And one more thing, if you want to add another brand, let us say, in this case, brand five, and let us say that brand now has around three as its value, you can see that one more segment has come. And in this case, this specific segment needs to be recolored. So you go to shape fill and say no fill. And now this percentage composition remains the same way and we are going to drag it to the center. So those are some small little adjustments you need to make only in these set of templates, which are created more for the aesthetics rather than actual practical representation. Now these are some other templates that you can see which work pretty much the same way. Now this template shows bent bars on a dial. This is nothing but percentage completion of different projects. Let us say that there are four different components in a specific project. This chart shows percentage completion of each of those four different projects. Let me click on the chart go to edit data 
and let us change the percentage completion of these different projects let us say instead of uh, the second one being 60 as it is reflected here if I want to say this as 45 you can see that the percentage completion is changed to 45 so that is how it works these charts as I mentioned earlier are created more for the look and feel more than anything else so whenever you want to show some simple numbers like percentage completion you can always use these percentage completion dials because these charts help you show that simple number in a more elegant and memorable way. You can choose to show either percentage completion of one project or you may want to show percentage completion of multiple projects as shown here using these templates. Hope you really liked these beautiful set of percentage completion dials. In the next video, I'll show you another set of templates and how to use them. See you in the next video.